There comes a time during the year when everyone's like And you're just like Is it... is it summer already? But apparently that time has come. My family and I are going on vacation. Right now I'm not yet sure if there will be vlogs, but of course you are subscribed below and you got the bell icon on. So you will get notified when the new vlog comes out, right? And because you've asked about this before, I want today in this video show you how I pack my things, what I take with me, what are the tools that I use to get my work done on the road because I'm never 100% disconnected. So here we go, travel packing with Simon 101. <laughs> Before everyone leaves without seeing the outro, which is of course happening, I just want to let you know that you can post your questions today below, today below the video, in order for me to make a nice Q&A video over the next week. That should work uh, while traveling. Leave some cool questions, please don't just ask uh, Ionic specific coding things. I know you will, I will ignore the questions. Please ask something maybe about, I don't know, what I do, um, how I work, how it was to become a software developer, I don't know. Just not 100% related to Ionic coding. With that being said, let's dive into a few of the things that I will pack into my backpack. Number one for vacation, of course, very classic, the Kindle directly goes into my backpack. It's in the back. I really enjoy reading a ton of books during vacation. Um, I really like to tune off from all the coding stuff and projects that are going on. I don't read a lot of fantasy, I read like the classics, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter and... Uh, I don't know if there's something else that I should have read, but I like to read more like these self-development, productivity, whatever books. Item number two on my list is actually like the whole Apple category. You know, I'm an Apple fanboy and I basically own everything from Apple. I got, of course, the Apple Watch. Incredible. I will take my MacBook with me. Amazing. I got, of course, the AirPods as well. Beautiful. I got the iPad. So beautiful. I got my iPhone. Really nice. I think that's basically all from the Apple collection that you got. Back then, I started as an iOS developer and my first uh, laptop was a MacBook. And since then, I basically stick to Apple. And once you're in that system and you get like the iPhone and it's connected with the MacBook and everything just works really flawless then it's hard to switch to Android. I tried it a few times during the years but um, I don't know I, I kind of like Apple. Um, I like that I can build for Android and iOS with my MacBook so I don't have to switch or I have two devices. Yeah basically once you're in the system uh, you get to purchase everything as it just works together. So number two is like this stack of device. With that being said, number three of course follows a bunch of cable. You need a cable to charge your MacBook, you need a USB cable of course to maybe develop a little app during the vacation or in general you also of course need the adapter if you want to charge it. But it's not ending here, you know. Next on the list of course you need this little charger for the Apple Watch and then I might might have to uh, debug Android apps during the vacation. So therefore I need a different cable for my Android device. Oh, and by the way, if I want to debug Android, I should also carry my Android device with a bunch of more stuff. And then I also got this little wireless charging thingy that of course also goes into my backpack. What I actually don't carry for this is like an external keyboard or mouse. I work pretty long just with the MacBook and I enjoy the keyboard on the Mac and the trackpad and I can work pretty good with that. So once you got like these 10 kilo of devices and cables and everything in your bag, it's pretty much already filled. But let's get to some more traditional tools. One thing that's part of my miracle morning or just my morning routine is the five minute journal. Basically all days are the same. There's a quote for the day, there are questions for uh, answering in the morning uh, and then there's also a section for later when you go to sleep. I've been filling out this journal daily for like, I've been filling them out daily, you know, basically for like a few years as you can see. So that's why I will also carry this with me. Oh, and did anyone say I don't like Android? Look at this. It was a gift from my mom. And you know what's the cool feature of this? Look at it. 
awesome, right? So with all these tools, it might appear like I'm not really leaving my office because I got everything with me, but I got also one offline item. If you are from Germany, you might be able to read what's on here. So as a little German exercise for today, let me read it out to you. Es gibt nichts Gutes, außer man tut es. I don't think it translates very well into English. It's just like, there's nothing good besides doing something. But that's actually very true. Okay, item number, I think number six on the list is the Switch. I actually haven't played that lot in the last time. Here are a few of the items that I played before. Just the regular stuff, as you can see. You know, with a child, um, I actually didn't find a lot of time to play. Um, I used to play a lot in the past. I might give it a try during the vacation, but... Just a fool's hope. And of course, there's also another cable that I will have to bring with me. The last item on my list that I need to bring is of course something I have to pick very carefully because first with a class of different sunglasses. I'm actually not completely sure that these are my sunglasses but perhaps I can embrace a new style with them. And along with the selection of the sunglasses of course comes the selection for a proper head that might be more of the party topic. Perhaps that's more appropriate for southern Europe but I also like to have like a casual Okay, problem is that I got so many of them. I have a problem of deciding which one I will take. This might be even the best of them. But yeah, you see a lot of problems packing my bag, right? And here we go with the final selection of all the tools. As you can see, quite a lot of cables are required these days. We got all of the technology stuff. We got some sunglasses and we also got my little sketchbook. All in all, that should be everything I need besides, of course, some clothes and food and the rest of the things. So because the summer season is near, let me know what's one item that you definitely need to carry with you on vacation that you can't live without. If it's your phone, just pick the second item. If that's your MacBook, maybe pick something unique. I don't know. And that's it. If you watch this video, I'll be at the Starnberger See in Germany, perhaps, if everything went well. And then we will go more to the south, Italy, Venice, Austria. I don't know where we'll end up in the end. As I said in the beginning, also make sure to leave your questions for a Q&A around basically everything I do, dev tech, de coding, software development, working as a self-employed developer, or whatever you want to know. Perhaps this can also become two seasons because I'm two weeks on vacation. If you don't submit any topics, don't expect any new vlog. And with that being said, have a great week. Pack all the things for your next vacation or otherwise, if your next vacation isn't near, do some great coding. And as always, happy coding, Simon.